Hi guys, it's Stuart here from Airshow World and uh, thanks for joining me on uh, tutorial number 9 for the uh, Whistler scanners and what we're going to do today, I'm going to, quite a short tutorial this, I'm just going to show you um, some shortcut keys that um, have been brought out with the uh, latest update for the uh, scanner that came out um, right about the um, 17th of January right about that sort of date um, okay so what how I'm going to um, show you this is I'm going to use the uh, remote software and I'm assuming that um, you know how to get that if you don't go back to the early tutorials tutorials start right the way obviously from one we're up to nine now so uh, we go from the very basics to uh, where we're at now okay so um, what I'm going to show you is um, uh, there's um, a key and um, this is only applicable and um, what I'm going to show you today on this tutorial for the radios that have got the um, keypad okay so and the key uh, we're particularly interested in today is the little button that one where that I'm just pointing the mouse to at the moment the bottom right hand corner FN key that is the key we're interested in okay so um, let's launch the uh, little program here it's da -da -da -da, the control demo it's in other words what it is it's a program for controlling your scanner via your laptop computer whatever okay first thing you have to do is put the com port in okay so you've got a choice you can either scroll through all of that lot there or you can go to the device manager and if you don't know how to get to the device manager I'm assuming you do but if you don't leave me a message and uh, I'll explain how to do that okay so it's under uh, ports and this is the only device that I have connected at the moment the only USB device I have connected okay so here it is and it's on COM port 6 obviously for this um, because we're controlling the radio you have to have the radio switched on okay so let's scroll down here to COM port 6 then hit begin um, there we go so this scanner control is talking to your Whistler radio okay so I'm sure you're all familiar with this screen by now okay so let's find this FN key there's your button okay so let's see what happens when we press FN right um, on your actual screen of your radio now you will see a button and, and a little um, icon that says FN okay and by hitting one that or straight away puts the radio into scan mode so it's scanning okay easy enough hit FN again and this time um, hit button 2 and from here it takes you to the program menu okay save scrolling all the way down okay takes you immediately there okay FN three that takes you into the um, sweeper mode not going to explain all about that in this tutorial this is just about doing the shortcut keys okay so FN 4 that takes you into the services okay FN 5 and that um, puts it into the um, service search okay let's go back to the um, main menu I just hit menu twice there um, FN6 this is possibly the one I use qu probably most um, that takes you even though it doesn't say on here but it would say on your display of your radio this takes you in to the uh, playback uh, mode your recordings on this radio 
okay and um, from here yep you could just play back what um, the radio has um, recorded while you've been away let's um, hit that there we go it's just a short recording of that one let's go back a couple and hit There we go. Yeah, I'm sure you heard that in the uh, in the background. So that's just um, a brief um, look at some of the um, shortcut keys that have come out on the latest um, upgrade on these um, new um, radios. Um, so that just about wraps um, this tutorial up. Um, if you've jumped straight into this one, number nine, go back. As I say to uh, number one if you're new to using the um, Whistler scanners and it takes you right from the very basics also when um, we touch on um, trunk tracking I think that's in tutorial number eight and also there's um, a useful tutorial for um, getting your frequencies directly into um, easy scan one other point um, that I, um, I must mention the um, one of the previous um, uh, updates to the easy scan software uh, on that particular update what, what it did it you had to select three to import frequencies from the clipboard you had to select three um, columns yeah three data sources you have to select all three to be able to then import them into easy scan a lot of people including me to start off with were um, saying hey it's not importing my frequencies anymore and that was because I just I just normally select only only two I normally only select the frequency um, uh, column and the alpha tag column and um, nothing was importing and that's because on that update you needed three the good news is that you even if you only selected one column now such as obviously you need to select the frequencies um, it will now import um, the data um, and your frequencies from the clipboard which is um, good news I just wish they um, had a facility to be able to export from EasyScan. Unfortunately, the um, software is locked down. You cannot get to the database. I've tried. Um, if you guys know a way, leave a comment. I would love to know. But uh, as my understanding is um, that the software is uh, completely locked down. So um, please leave a comment and um, that's always good um, certainly think about subscribing to Air Show World we appreciate that as well and um, if you select get notifications when you um, do the subscribe you will always be updated to the vote whenever I put a new video out currently we have over 450 uh, different videos at the moment and most days we also do a live uh, stream um, on the uh, YouTube channel as well um, and that features um, radar with um, the radio comms as well and um, also using the um, the very radio that uh, I've got right behind me here the uh, the Whistler scanner and um, so thanks once again for watching hope this was um, helpful to you guys and um, we'll catch you on the next tutorial thanks bye for now